Everything about this add-on scenery package for Microsoft Flight Simulator is huge, except the price. It's somewhat unique in terms of scale and concept. It's from Aerosoft and its offshore landmarks, North Sea. And I'm impressed. Warm welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Let's face it, we've all done it. Bought some scenery and we've been disappointed. And you can be left wondering, what did you just pay for? Well, the one thing I'm confident of, with Aerosoft's offshore landmarks North Sea, you're very unlikely to get that feeling. The scenery package, based on real-world data, includes oil and gas platform, wind farms, heliports, and over 700 different types of ships of all shapes and sizes, and more. This is my InSim world map prior to the installation of the Aerosoft offshore landmarks package. Fairly busy, but not a lot happening in the sea. And boom, this is post-installation. And the addition of oil and gas platform, wind farms and ships, etc. are not limited just to the North Sea. The east coast of the UK has got some attention, and it gets pretty busy off the west coast of Norway. Over 380-odd heliports, some with their own ICAO codes, 78 new NDBs, more activity we can see here in the Irish Sea, and also off the south coast of the UK. And the price? Well, it's somewhere around 17 euros or 20 US dollars. If you only fly airliners at 30,000 feet, well, this package is not for you. But if you're into GA flying, VFR, and you like to go exploring, and especially if you fancy a little bit of helicopter flying, and you relish a challenge, then this is likely to be right up your street. The scale of this project is one thing, but what really captured my attention was the attention to detail and the huge amount of variety included as you go exploring. Some items are more detailed than others, and the ships and seagoing vessels have the appearance of moving, but in fact they're static. Many, but not all, objects have some form of animation. Also included are six anchorages off port, and this includes both Rotterdam and Amsterdam. Anyway, getting back on point, I mentioned a moment ago a challenge, and if you're into helicopter flying, well, the ultimate challenge awaits. There are heliports on gas and oil platform on some of the ships. And being a bit of a noob when it comes to helicopter flying, while well, this wasn't easy. It certainly kept me paying attention. The variety of helicopter ports, well, for some it'll be heaven. And for those still trying to master the helicopter, regardless of what model you're flying, this'll keep you focused. It's hellish difficult, but great fun. I'll leave a link to the Aerosoft website where you can find out more of the features of this package. I'll just briefly list them above, but the list goes on and on. Here's a helipad on a ship and I think I might attempt a landing. My takeoffs are pretty good, I can fly fairly straight and level, but my landings, well they're the most difficult part of helicopter flying. And as you're about to witness, my training is far from complete. I do have a tendency to come in just too high. And these platforms look so small until you get closer to them. But clearly more practice required on my part. Ouch, I'm down. Now where's that back brace? You're not limited to just helicopters of course. Here I am in the DHC-2 Beaver with the floats variant and I'm just off the English East Coast giving this tanker a quick buzz. Aerosoft did send me a preview copy of this package. I downloaded it, I liked it and I've subsequently purchased it directly from Aerosoft. For me this is one of those packages really worth paying for. Now the one question that can spring to mind, what about impact on frame rates? And whilst the North Sea and surrounding areas are well populated, the North Sea is a big place and I haven't experienced any major negative impact. And Aerosoft have obviously paid attention to their level of detail, the LOD. There was very little popping of scenery. Now, did I mention that there's a variety of ships? Container vessels, oil tankers, gas tankers, ferries, cruise ships and the like. So in summary, if you like it low and slow, you enjoy a bit of VFR, and you like to mix it up with the helicopters and smaller GA aircraft, then this is definitely worth a look. Well, Microsoft say they want to create an imitation of the real world in the sim. 
Well, I think Aerosoft just gave them a hand. And kudos to Aerosoft for being sensibly priced. And I believe it should be coming to the Xbox very soon. I can't wait for that. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, see you soon, and bye for now.